Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to work with messages in Django. So messages are a way to send a message from one request to another. So this works really well in conjunction with redirects because when you redirect, normally you do some processing before the redirect. So if you want the page that you redirect to to get a message, you will send the message right before you redirect. So that's what I'll be showing you in this example. So first thing you need to know is if you install your project or create your project uh, using Django admin, then you have everything you need for messages already. So if you go to settings.py and look under an installed apps, we have messages here. Uh, we have messages in the middleware. And finally, we have the messages in the context processor. So you can use messages right away if you've installed using Django admin. So what I want to do is I want to send a message here when we redirect to this page, if the user tries to type in a simple password, let's just say the word password. So what I'll do is here, I will say if a request post password is equal to the actual word password, what I want to do is I want to uh, redirect the user back to the same view, but this time it's going to be a Git request because this is the post request processing and it's going to send a message along with that redirect. So first I need to import redirect here and then I'll put a placeholder for redirect here. So redirect to the index and I need to have a return statement. And before this, what I want to do is I want to pass the message. So with messages, there are a few messages that you can pass or a few message types. So those are debug, info, success, warning, and error. So in our case, we want this to be an error because the user can't proceed if they put in this password. So uh, what I can do is import messages. So I already have it up here. So from django.contrib import messages, and I can type uh, messages dot error. So that's the type of message that I want. It can be anything you want. It can be info success warning, but I'm just using error because it makes the most sense. And you have to pass in the requests argument here. And then what you want to pass is the message itself. So I can say something like, uh, your password isn't complex enough. Okay. So let's try this and see what happens. I will type in username and a password, hit register, and nothing happens. So why does nothing happen? Because I have to actually handle the messages in the template. So let's go to the template. And what we're going to do in the template is first, we're going to check if any messages exist. So what we can do is say if messages, and then I'll just put the in if underneath the div for the alert. And then what I can do is I can loop over all the messages. So this is going to be a list of messages, even if you have one. So for message in messages, I'll create a new div. So in four, and then I can put the message here. So it's just message like that. So let's try now. So it has your password isn't complex enough from the last time I did it, but it wasn't read in. So it gets displayed now. But if I reload the page again, nothing appears. So let me type in a password that isn't complex and then hit register. And we see your password isn't complex enough. If I reload this and then type in something that is okay, which is anything other than the word password, then this happens. So the reason why this happens is because in this view here, if the password is okay, so it's anything other than password, then it just renders the template again. So how about we redirect to this view, show messages. So uh, what I can do here is inside of the if post, just return, redirect, show messages. So let's try this now. So anthony at anthony.com. And then I'll just put in any password because it doesn't matter. Hit register. And now it redirects me to messages. So just to show you that one more time, if I type in the bat password, so password, hit register, it shows the message. But if I type in anything else, it redirects me to this page, show messages. So now let's send some messages to 
this page so we can see what it looks like uh, when we have different types of messages. So like I said, there are multiple messages that we can use. And here before the redirect is when I should send the messages. So uh, let's see, we have, so we have like an alert one or uh, an informational alert. So let's call this info. Uh, we have success, we have an error and we have a warning. Okay. so. We can use those for so for the info we can say this is the info message and then I need to pass requests at the beginning of that and I can do the same thing for the other four so messages uh, error so I'll just type error error for success you you registered successfully. And then finally, warning, uh, be careful. Okay, so I'm going to send those four messages and I need to handle them inside the template. So what I can do in the template is, first I need to check if any messages exist. So I do the if messages, and then down underneath the last div, I'll have end if. Then what I want to do is I want to loop over all the messages. So for message in messages and uh, in four down here. So now I have four different types of messages. So I want to display each message in the appropriate box, the appropriate div that has the right color. So for example, primary should be info, success is success, danger will be error and warning is still warning. So what I can do is I can have an if statement here. So if message.level, and we want to compare this level with the level for info. So it's a number, but we don't know exactly what that number is. So there's a variable that we have access to called default message levels. And then we just reference the level that we're interested in. So info, and this will then only display I can put the end of here. This will only display if the message is the info message. If it's a different message, then it will skip this div. But let's do the same thing for the others. So for success, the level will be success. So just all caps like that. And then we need one for error. And finally, we need one for a warning. So let's put the last and if, and now let's add in the actual message text. So we have message here and it will be the same for the other one. So message, 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 and message. Okay, so just like that. So let's try the whole process again. So I'll put in the invalid password first. That still appears. So now let's put in a valid one. And then we see the messages that we pass. So this is the info message, error, error, you register successfully and be careful. So with messages, especially in a template, you can organize things in a better way. So right here, I'm just repeating the same div and really the only difference between the divs are the classes. So what you can do is you can just have the if statement determine the class, and then have one div um, if you choose to organize it that way. If you have like different elements for each message, then you can do something like this. Just depends on what you're doing. So I hope all this helped you understand a little more of how messages work in Django. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.